video about a preposition called in. If you know the usages of in, you will be more confident and fluent in English. So let's start. First, we use in for an object being inside something. For an example, the pencil is in the box. The milk is in the fridge. Next, we use in for large towns, cities, districts, states or countries. For an example, I live in Europe. My friend works in London. But if you're talking about small towns, small places, use the preposition at. Next, we use in for house and residence. For an example, I live in a modern day house. Next, we use in for month and year. For an example, in December, in 2021. But if you're talking about a specific day, like 11th of August, you should use the preposition on. Next, we use in for inside a building. For an example, I am in the bank. I live in a flat. Next, we use in for a work that's inside a building, like a job inside the building. For an example, my mum works in a hospital. My dad works in a, in a shop. Next, we use in before official institutes or departments. For an example, my friend works in the education department. My dad works in the transport department. Next, we use in for name of roads. For an example, I live in Victoria Road. My workplace is in the London Road. Next, we use in for time of completion. For an example, I will finish my report in a day. I will finish my homework in a, in an hour. Next, we use in for parts of day. For an example, in the evening, in the afternoon. But if you're talking about a specific day, a specific time of the day, like midnight, dawn, noon, then you should use the preposition at. So in the evening, in the afternoon. Next, we use in before possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives, I'll give you some examples like his, hers, theirs. We have to use in before them. So for an example, I am traveling in his car. I am in her car. Next, we use in for dwelling places. For an example, monkeys live in trees. Birds live in nests. Next, we use in for belief and interest. For an example, do you believe in destiny? 
I am interested in drawing. Finally, we use in for a shape, color or size. For an example, the children stood in a circle. Today, she is in a yellow dress. So those are all the usages of in. And I hope you understood. And I will see you next time in my next video with a different preposition. Please remember to subscribe and like this video. I would really appreciate it. So bye.